Hello, this is Adrian. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 in, a, in the Modern Ostrom expansion as Genoa. So, last we left off, we had declared war on Crimea. We have blockaded them completely, and we've had a few uh, back and forth battles. We have 11% war score right now, and their war exhaustion is really high, but so is ours. So, um, it's getting a little close. Uh, we're, we're hemorrhaging money. We don't have a lot of manpower left. We have a decent amount of sailors. Um, so, we have a couple different areas that we want to we're fighting Kazan at Queen Luce or Kossia, Crimea so I wanted to take a couple of these provinces here Provence is open for attack um although somebody seems to have declared war on them oh so the people conquest of Provence yeah so the Pope declared on Provence we'll see if um they win although they'll probably be fully annexed to be honest um so we wanted to come after uh Tangiers here we wanted to come after Provence although that may not be possible now and we wanted to come after Georgia we're, we're attacking Crimea and Circassia um so there's a lot going on, but right now we're just going to focus on winning this war. This war is our single greatest importance as of right now. Um, so we're trying to get some good engagements. We're trying to win where we can, and we're, we're trying to rack up that war score. If I can get either Kazan or... Um, I, I'm really trying to isolate Crimea diplomatically, so I want to get most of their... Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and move over to Crimea, see if we can siege it down. If I can siege this down, I think it'll be I think it'll be over. I'm trying to um, isolate Crimea, so it's just Crimea and Circassia left. Um, who knows if that can happen or not? We're, we're not entirely certain yet. Damn it. Oh, come on. What is this? Oh, we're locked in because of the forts. God damn it. I gotta see if I can come over here. I gotta smash this this force. Foreign plots either lose ten Republican tradition, get some money. I need the money right now. I need to do that. It's not we ha we can afford it. Um, let's go over here. We need to smash this stack right now. Uh, they're going for okay, so they're going for Azaraba. Okay, so we're gonna be able to smash that force. We do have oh no, we don't have any cost penalty. We ruled pretty good. Uh, nine to four with a two shot or two fire. Uh, nine to five with two fire. Uh, we absolutely won that battle. Uh, I believe they're gonna they're gonna retreat to Crimea if I'm correct. So let's go ahead and let's uh, stack wipe whatever we can. Where are they going? I think that is where they're going. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It will be a battle. Uh, we missed their army just barely. Shit. Uh, medium. Can I pull anybody out? No. Okay. So what can I do here? Can I sue for peace though? They're they're at low enthusiasm. They have 17 war exhaustion. Holy lord. There are no forts in this area. Oh, it's just because they don't have any forts in general. Actually, Circassia is probably what they're looking for. Okay, our war exhaustion is ridiculously high. We need to get some sort of fort occupied right now as fast as we can. I want to see if I can stack wipe this. Kazan is up there. They have medium enthusiasm, though, because they are um, taking some pretty significant losses. Let's go for Circassia. I want to take Kuban, Adige, maybe Azaraba. Um, let's go ahead. Let's pull out one of our inventory. Um... Let's take as a robber real quick. Let's see if we can siege this down real fast. Um, so since we do have a spy network, do we get any ability to siege any bonuses? Should say somewhere in here. Yeah, if you have spy networks, you usually... Um... Wow, that's a lot of attrition. Normal winter? Oh, wow. Guild restrictions on wine? Maybe either strong guilds or strong traders. I'll go ahead and go for the uh, strong traders. Yeah, we're we're hemorrhaging money. Holy crap! Oh my lord. Okay. Come on, I can't get Kazan out of here or something. They have fifteen point three thousand on their way. I will definitely lose against that. Uh, well. Ugh. Okay, so this is, I think, what I'm going to do. Is I'm actually just going to take a DJ because um, I don't I don't have military power to fend off Kazan and uh, Crimea. So uh, we're, they're going to give us a DJ and they're going to give us 90 ducats. And we're going to leave it at that for now. Um, I'll come back for them. But for now, I, I do feel, <clears throat> excuse me, that we need, to, um, we need to retreat. So we have a lot of corruption. We have a lot of loans. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see, we need to get this corruption down. 20% of our income will go to... Okay. Yeah, so, uh, lost a lot of manpower. We have a crap ton of rebels. Oh my god. Um, should we spend some points to get this war exhaustion down? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say not. Um, so CO has a lot of unrest. Let's go ahead and raise autonomy. I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and attach our barks. Let's protect trade in the Genoese node. Let's get our barks and protect trade in the Genoese node. Let's go ahead and let's combine our galleys and such. We have 15.8 unrest here with 99.9 .9 autonomy. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and, and um, let's go ahead and reelect our ruler just once. Just once. I gotta watch for the Republican tradition. We have uh, increased military tech. Let's go ahead and get longbows. God, that's so much unrest. Oh my god. We got some loans. Oh, this is because I believe the Pope dislikes us. No, let's stay away from that. Can't convert anything. Claims. Yep. No, I need to repay some money right now. I also need to get some more troops. War exhaustion is ridiculously high. We're going to have unrests or uh, revolts pretty soon. I actually do have a national unrest advisor, so um, let's go ahead and let's advance some time. But I'm actually going to pick that guy. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's the closest revolt is in Theodoro? Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll get this. Visits from shady people. Hmm. Trade dispute with the Papal State. That's okay. We can deal with that. Burgundy's uh, trade conflict. That's okay. Let's go ahead and head over here to Theodoro. Those are the most likely to rise up soon. Let's get some more troops. Uh, or actually, hold on. I was actually going to get the advisor first. Uh, yes, this guy. So we're making about 2.61 ducats. That's okay. That's not bad. Uh, Passment of religious... Uh, no, not right now. Just because I have so much unrest, I can't deal with any more unrest for now. Let's go ahead and send them to... Um, intercept enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Theodorian Separatists. We're trading more troops here in Theodoro. Are we? Oh, that's right. Okay, okay. Uh, we need some inventory. Yeah, we don't have a lot of manpower left. Okay, we may have to sit on our hands for a little while. At least we're able to take one province. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth much. Six, you know, six development, but that's okay. Um, it's better than nothing. Ansbach wants to join our trade league. No, I'm sorry. Uh, looks like the Papal State did annex Provence, so we can no longer advance on them. Um, I would like to attack Morocco for Tangiers. Okay, so we took uh, our administrative tech. We now have one idea group available. So, what should be our first idea group? I have two... I was thinking um, either economically we should we should focus on our economics or we should focus on our military. Actually, having a very very strong military as a Genoa, as this sprawling empire would be very very advantageous. I was thinking about going plutocratic or defensive. Having a lot of army tradition, having good generals would be really really nice. Um, I wasn't really able to decide. Hmm. Um, we we actually get pretty decent ideas from just just Genoese ideas. Um, so so as far as the naval game, we don't have to focus so much on our navy. Uh, navy. Um, our army definitely needs some some work though. So just because uh, this military drill fifteen percent increase is just it's incredible. That's a lot. That is an incredible amount. So we'll we'll focus for now on getting a military idea. And let's keep recruiting troops. Um, I need to get at least up to my force limit, hopefully. 
Yeah, so the Theodorians rise up pretty soon. The Crimeans will also rise up and Azov fairly soon. No Trebizondians and the Circassians, maybe 10%. 6.4 years, they say. So we have some time. We have some leeway. Still making a decent amount of money. We have some interest. That's okay, though. Um, candidates vie for opportunities. Hmm. Who's in charge right now? The traders? Let's go ahead and get the traders, yeah. Uh, 70% for the Crimeans and Azov, and 80% for the Theodorians. Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and actually, um, let's come back here to Kaafa. I'm trying to see who's going to rise up first. Um. Oh no, our general died. Ah, oh, we got a one zero one one. Damn it! He was a two 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 general. He was an amazing man. Okay, so unrest is still still up there. They're about equal now. Actually, about the time they're gonna fire three point four and three point three years. Okay, so let's uh hopefully pay off this this loan here. Ah, oh, so the one stability. All right, I gotta lose some money. I'm gonna have to go into more debt. Shit. That's okay though. That's okay. We can we can afford to right now. Uh, I'm just still waiting for these rebels. Holy crap! It's a state, huh? Okay. Uh, we don't have any estates, so there's no real limit to um, autonomy. There's no minimum autonomy anyway. Fifty-three. No, no. How much do we need to repay our loans? One hundred and three. Okay. Um, Fifty-two. Okay. Looks like uh, Crimea received a gift from Hungary for some reason, and Crimea received a gift from Serbia. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's check out um, anything over here. Ragusa is still being guaranteed, and they're in a trade league with the Ottomans. We still have our trade league going pretty strong. Cyprus is a vassal now. Oh yeah, I was going to attack Cyprus at some point or another. The Ottomans and the Mamluks are at war, I believe. Yes. Okay. Hopefully attack Tangiers one of these days. Looks like they have some rebel problems. Interesting. Definitely attack Tangiers. Just build up a North African empire. That would be pretty awesome. Provence. Okay. But for now, we're going to need to sit on our hands, I think. Let's go ahead and pay off some of these loans. 90% uh, for Theodorian, so let's go ahead and let's move into the province, because I believe they will fire any minute now. Azov is also getting there. Wow, Crimea is at war with the Ottomans. Wow. Wow. Greek Separatists, Theodorians. Come on, Theodorians, rise up. Klebs, no, sorry. Well, Klebs, Klebs. Let's get rid of... Um, let's actually let's bump this back up for the corruption. Okay. Cossack aggression. That's fine. Crimean Separatists. Ugh, the unrest. It's terrible. Our war exhaustion has really come down, though, so hopefully this unrest is going to go away. Doing still pretty good on tech. Pretty damn well. Looks like some of our provinces are raided. Oh no. Oh no. Deodorian. How does the unrest look here? War exhaustion, intolerance. Let's actually just go ahead and just raise yeah, let's just raise the autonomy there. We'll just focus on, on our provinces that we can reach. Okay, so yeah, we're just securing our interests here. Um Hope I can attack them real soon. Yeah, a little while. 
1469. It's not bad. About four years. It's it's not bad. Um, Georgia, we're, we were still considering attacking them. Looks like they're at war with Armenia. Uh, Armenia is taking what from them? Samshke? Okay. Uh, Abkhazia and Mangrele are definitely some targets that we could go after. Let's go ahead and keep building up that spy network. Anybody else that we need to... Oh, looks like the Pope's in control. Okay. Anybody else that we need to really shore up anything? Um... Milan. Milan hasn't attacked me because we're allies with France, so that's nice. France actually has been a pretty good ally so far. They haven't attacked me or anything like that, so that's nice. And France actually has some claims on Savoy. So France is uh, hostile. Oh, well, not, not that hostile. Okay. <sighs> so, um... So, we don't have many favors. Hmm, interesting. Okay, looks like Crimea has... Yeah, they, they have rebel problems. Enres is coming down now. So, that's good. Corruption's increasing. It's a shame. I'm just spending... I'm spending so much. So much. Let's let's keep it under point ten. I think. Um, that'll probably be best. Still need to get rid of these damn loans. I still have some unrest. It's not that bad, though. Okay, let's go Go ahead and speed five. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. We have another election. He's a little too old to re-elect, so let's go ahead and let's get a military candidate because we are uh, do have a military focus group. Okay, let's come back to speed four. Again with this event, the Guelph Ghibelline feud. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll still side with the Guelphs. We'll pick We'll pick the uh, relationship boost with, with France. Lose some money, get 10 prestige and 1 stability. I like it. Okay, so yeah, our country's rebuilt itself. We still have some yeah, some deficit in manpower, but that's okay. Uh, a lot of sailors, actually, so that's nice. And, alright, I'll go ahead and pause here. We're going to go ahead and take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you like this video, please cr uh, click the like button. If you dislike this video, please click the dislike button. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.